hello everybody this is Ton Ton here and welcome back to my channel last week I did the review of the masterpiece number 10 star screen and today I want to bring something different to my channel by reviewing this figure this is the masterpiece movie number one star screen I think this guy got released back in 2011 so a very old figure and not many people have it or got the chance to remove it properly due to the age of the figure so today I want to introduce you guys an updated and detailed review about this guy. Talking about the alternate vehicle mode, this is an F-22 Raptor of the US Army and as you can see despite a lot of cables actually hanging out of this section over here, it still creates a flat feeling to the figures. Because in fact that I tried to transform this guy and yeah, it is a very flat size way and especially this area right here so not too many kibbles or feelings that I have a few of inaccuracy to the realistic vehicle mode and I do like the fact that they can incorporate the weapons up to here and the playable missiles will be actual missiles on the jet mode turning it onto the back as you can see it's a little bit of a, of a mess but that is due to the transformer gimmick but then you actually got thrusters over this two section here and that is quite nice and I really enjoy this features of the figure turning it around back to the cockpit section and this is a clear yellow piece of plastic and it shows the cockpit but the boring part is that why they chose to not paint the cockpit because it's hard to see all the nice cockpit details over here but flipping the jet up and as you can see there are a lot of nice details here which will be really nice for panel lining if you are into it and I love this shattering paint right here this, this look nice now for comparison with the latest movie masterpiece figures this is MPM 10 star screen so as you can see here this size of the vehicle is just such a mess with all the cables onto it that are not flat at all so I'm really disappointed by this point of star screen so if you want to check that point out I would recommend watching my MPM 10 Starscream review. I'll put the link right here. And now for some other parts, as you can see here, the, the length of this wheel in particular is very nice because at the actual jet mode, I think that it should be that long considering this is a military vehicle, not a Ford car. But up to MPM 10, as you can see, this is fairly short, so I would have to minus a point of that for being unrealistic and inaccurate to the actual vehicle. And the last thing I want to bash this guy about is the weapon storage because as you can see like I have mentioned it is the missile gimmick is stored perfectly nice here into the middle of the jet but this one here it is actually hanging around like this and to me this is being poor mechanical design and because this just look floppy and you got two of these also the chainsaw is going to attach up to this size over here and that is really bad and now for the transformation, let's begin. First thing I want to do is to remove the two missiles that would come in handy later. And now just fold in all the wheels like that. I'm sorry because this figure is actually quite tight. It's been nine years it's old. Now you come back and split out this two leg section over here. And up to this point, you can split them out and thus removing the weapon gimmick. Bring out the leg. Bend it down. And at this point, you just want to actually relocate in the part so it looks like in the movie. Bring all this section out. And as you can see here, this is a claw. We're going to bring this whole back section out. And now just bring out this piece over here. You want to do the same thing to the other leg. Now after the front section here, I want to bring out these two panels, just a little upwards, 
I can bring this whole section up front like that and that will be the back of the figures and turn this piece up like that up to this point you can see these two arms of Starscream are revealing and you can see the overall shapes of him in the robot mode is actually coming out rotate the two arms so they will be revealed like that split them out of course I'm sorry if you see this school over here, this is a very old figure and as a matter of fact it started to get rusty so yeah that is quite a shame that I tried to polish it but I said that's it I said nah I'm just gonna bring it, leave it there so back to the transformation at this point you would want to bring the, ar the arms out but then this is hint it's unable to do due to the wings stay in the place so it actually has a mechanism just so you start able to pull the wings out and then it's spring loaded and I'm actually quite surprised because after nine years it still remained a very nice spring loaded gimmicks of it that is really impressive at this point there will be two joints you want to notice this one right here and this one right here so you want to actually bring them all out first like that and you can bend this joint right here out so it actually can connect it I have this tab over here and this slots over here. Just bring them all in. Uh, sorry for my bad. I, I'm sorry. I um, forgot about this, but you actually need to pull this tab out so you can connect them. At this point here, you can see you can bring out the arms and actually just pull out the hands. And you're complete with one arms. Now for this stomach part, you're just going to fold it into this joint over here. To bring this front section of the jet down, at this point right here, there will be a hinge. So you, you will want to lift that up. Like that. And so you can bring this down. There will be this slot over here. You can Put it to the tab over here to secure the whole section. To the final steps of this transformation, you just want to bring out these two wings part upwards. That forms a movie accurate look to the star screen, and you are done. Speaking of the robot mode of Star Scream, to me this is not a very special mode or anything at all. Because this is clearly the hunt for the Decepticon leader class starscream mode we used to see. But this time they replace with, with the brighter shades or colors. So I think this might be Dark of the Moon Starscream instead of Revenge of the Fallen Starscream. And obviously a lot more paint job to see a lot of more different colors on Starscream, which is really impressive to be honest with you. I really really enjoy handling these figures and about that I also enjoy the playable features of this figure as well but which I will come into the details along with the articulation right now about the pin jobs of the figure which I really think this is the best selling point of this figure this that purple and blue color plating around the whole upper body and to me it is kind of weird that Starscream has those colors because he doesn't seem to have it in the movie but this is a really nice highlight to the figures but then I also love the red line details onto the arms that is a really nice and careful touch of details that they make I'm really impressed with that one Otherwise than that, the paint and colors are the normal things we would expect from the star screen. Like I said, this might be the Dark of the Moon version because of the lighter colors rather than the really dark colors in Revenge of the Fallen. However, a funny thing is that if you turn it into, onto the back, you can see a line set that is actually made in the 2009 
bring it close to the camera as you can see. I hope you can see that. Let me catch the. This is here, you see. 2009 Hasbro. So, this is obviously the revenge of the fallen mode. And to be honest, um, not to disappointed with that because that mode is obviously a really good mode and otherwise Starscream doesn't need that much of an improvement so what I'm expecting from a masterpiece movie the first one I think at that time they think that by giving him a lot a little bit more paint jobs and some highlight here and there he might be a masterpiece and I think that is kind of correct up to that time consideration but now let's get to the articulation of him and see what he's got because I don't want to go into the too many details of him because there are tons of the previous 2009 Revenge of the Fallen Leader star screen. So let's begin. The articulation on the head begins with a opening mouth features, which is really nice. You can see star screen bullshitting now. He can do a 360 spin. But unfortunately the joints here are kind of Door due to the age of the figures. This part here can bend upwards a little bit. Okay, now moving on to the arms. The arms rotation of Star Scream is always really good. It can do a 360 rotation. Arm can move out that far. He got a bicep swivel. When you move the arms, this piece here will also move out as well. You got a bicep swivel. And yeah, the elbow band is also really really nice. The hands of Starscream, like I said, is in the same kind of hands I have always hate. So two fingers and three fingers attached, and that's that will be it. And also there's this gimmick over here. So you, you press this section, and this two will split out and reveal some missiles. The missiles are painted in, in a really really nice silver paint. The same with the other arms, but then this time you had a glutting gun instead of a missile. And that is pretty cool. So I actually I might bring in his the new MPM Starscream gun, so you can see. I think they are the same the same gun. The leg can kick up that far. Really, really nice kick. And kick back that far. That is also really good. Nice rotation for this figure. And the split is beautiful. The knee here, you have two kind of knees, so I think that they are okay. And then you have the foot, you can uh, move a little bit here and there, not too much. And, then, and it's on the ratchet joint, so be assured that this will hold your figures. Accessory wise, Starscream came with his missile launcher pot, flush gun, and flush blade. And that is a fairly decent piece, but I would prefer the later piece, the new piece. And how to attach it? You just plug it in right here. And this does come with a missile function. So you simply plug it in and press this button here. And you should. Nothing too spectacular. He does come with a sound features and how to access this, you just simply pull out this cockpit section over here and as you can see the chest and the mouth open up and also flips out which is kind of nice. So that will be it for today guys, thanks for watching. So what do you think of this old vintage figures? Because I've just, just looked on Amazon and this figure is now worth $400 second handed. So I think that is a pretty high price for a figure like this. Anyway, be sure to check out my Instagram for our latest updates and subscribe and ring the bell on my YouTube channel so you don't miss any upcoming news. See you later, Tonton out.